Hi, my name is Henry Sagerman. Hi, I'm Saul Schleimer. These are torus knots. An ordinary knot, like the shoelaces, has two free ends, so it can always be untied. To make things more interesting, mathematicians always join the free ends together, giving a closed loop. For example, if you join the ends of the overhand knot, you get the trefoil knot. A torus is just a fancy name for the surface of a bagel. So a torus knot is a knot that lives on the surface of a bagel. For example, this bagel has the 3-2 torus knot drawn on it. The two numbers tell us how many times the knot goes through the torus and how many times it goes around the torus. The 3-2 torus knot goes three times through the torus and twice around it. Here's the same knot, this time not on the bagel. As it happens, the 3-2 torus knot is the same thing as a trefoil knot. We also have the 5-3, the 5-4, and the 7-6 torus knots. For each of these pairs, the greatest common divisor is 1. In other words, they are relatively prime. If the pair isn't relatively prime, you don't get a knot. For example, if we go 3 times through and 3 times around, we get 3 separate loops, not 1. This is called the 3-3 torus link. It's just as easy to 3D print a link as it is to 3D print a knot. However, it's not so easy to show the resulting link.